Any ideas for future meetings topic? I did have an idea, and I don't know what kind of interest there might be in this besides my own. Um, and that is to have someone come in and talk about the commitment process just thinking about that. and what the individual's rights are as far as um, if they, you know, as far as appealing, as far as um, down the road if they want their uh, commitment reviewed to see if it could be dropped. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I would be interested in training like that. I don't know if anybody else would have any interest in that or not. Maybe along with that, the role of the mental health advocate. Okay. If they, if their goals are and what the limits are of what they do. There, we uh, attended a meeting in uh, Des Moines where the, is it Hope County? Does that sound familiar to you? The mental crisis unit? No, the mental health advocate. She, uh, the Kelly Navy? Yes. She presented and she did a wonderful job. She didn't so much speak to the process as she did the mental health advocate <coughs> role and responsibilities and, and like I said, limitations. Um, uh, explaining the individual's rights to them, you know, as far as their commitment is concerned. And, and she just, I mean, it was an hour training. Andrea and I both listened to it. I thought she did a wonderful job and explained things very well. She has a good PowerPoint that she hands out. Um, I, you know, I don't know whether she'd be willing to come and, and help with a training or a presentation like this or not, but she would be a, an excellent resource if we could get her to come. Maybe you guys could start it off with how you guys receive and then go from there and then where she steps in and, and uh -huh. so, I think that would be. We might want to consider breaking it into two different times. If she's an hour. <clears throat> well she can you probably know, shorten it up. But, well if you want to entice her to drive this far, she might want an hour. You know, is what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking she could probably address the process, too. She's pretty well informed. She could probably do both. And she, I mean, yeah, but um, you might want to think of her in the spring with driving, too. Mm -hmm. I always got to say, too, we have a really local resource in Pocahontas County that wants to talk about microboards. And she has an excellent presentation. And so... There's also that for training. You're talking about the mom, right? Mm -hmm. And the she and the, the and the client and the dog and she, everyone. <laughs> they're the ones that would be doing the presentation. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, the um, I was forming a microboard association right now, and um, there's a couple of microboards forming, and people are needing past training so that they can get microboards started, and you guys have experience of have, so I think I guess I didn't realize those when came in here. Yep. Oh. So so a micro learning about microboards, especially for people maybe who you who people who don't have adequate services or maybe don't need the the services packages that are available and um, maybe aren't able to do CCO to do consumer choice options and they don't have to, you know, these people don't have to be, they can be, they can have mental health issues, they can have substance abuse issues, any really level of issue where someone needs support or microboard is helpful for us. So. Well, she's real local, like you said, so maybe she could come in March. This is like a tap, you said? No, it's, it's a, well, basically. Oh, the path? No, the microboard is, yeah, yeah, they use a path to, when they're developing the microboard, so. So, that's basically a group of people that form a board and make decisions on um, how to support people. So, replace the guardians. And a microboard can become an agency, an uh, HBS agency, or a Medicaid agency if they want to. Oh. That particular microboard is an agency. Yeah. So, 